Greetings in the name of Christ and welcome to our service uh, daily prayer for um, April 2nd, moving into April and we're getting uh, closer to obviously Holy Week. So I think these readings uh, lend themselves to that as you hear them you might be thinking about uh, moving toward uh, Palm Sunday and Holy Week. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Alleluia! For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give God the glory. Let us pray. Eternal God, we give you thanks that through the gift of our baptism, you call us to a new way of life in your realm of grace and peace. By the power of your Holy Spirit, let your will be done in our lives and in this world that you love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And the psalm for uh, the next three days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, is Psalm 31. I'll be reading verses 1 through 8 today. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols, and I put my trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad because of your steadfast love, for you have seen my affliction. You know my distress. You have not handed me over to the power of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, our times are in your hand. Let your face shine on all who suffer persecution and give our hearts courage to confront evil. Lead us and guide us through all your weary years, that through all our weary years, that we may praise you for the wonders of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our texts today come from 1 Samuel 16. You may recognize this text from a couple of Sundays ago. And uh, then from Philippians 1, the first is uh, 1 Samuel 16, verses 11 through 13. I invite you to listen for the word of God. Samuel said to Jesse, are all your sons here? And he said, there remains yet the youngest, but he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. He sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. The Lord said, Rise and anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of the brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon David, from that day forward, Samuel then set out and went to Ramah. And from the first chapter of Philippians, the first 11 verses. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, my God, every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you, because of your sh sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. 
I'm confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you because you hold me in your heart. For all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced an, a harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. I've chosen a reading today from Living into Lent by Donald Kim. It's called Praying for Others. One of the great gifts we've been given is the opportunity to pray for other people. We pray for ourselves, but beyond that, our prayers for others entrust them and their lives to the gracious provision of God. We pray for others not only because we know that God wants us to do so, but also as a way of showing our love and care for those whose needs we know. We believe that God hears and answers our prayers for others. We trust God to hear and act at all times, and we trust that we can pour our hearts before God, reflecting the words of the psalmist. Without this faith and confidence that God can be trusted and God can help, our prayers would have no effect and would be of no use to make. But God is a refuge for us. And to believe that about God means we can have hope in believing that God's power is at work for others. Martha Morkesh tells us that in praying for others and for situations, we entrust ourselves to God's hands. This, help, this helps us to recognize God's ways in the world and to live out God's ways in our own lives. As we pray for others, we also give ourselves to God to be used for God's will and purposes in transforming the world. Let us now turn to God in prayer. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. Loving God, as the rising sun chases away the night, so you have scattered the power of death in the rising of Jesus Christ, and you bring us all blessings in him. Especially we thank you for the ministry of word and sacrament, for those who serve and care for others, for the affection of our friends, for your call to love and serve one another, and for the presence and power of your spirit. Mighty God, with the dawn of your love, you reveal your victory over all that would destroy or harm, and you brighten the lives of all who need you. Especially this day, we pray for the church and the people in the Pacific region, for endangered species of animals and plants, for those who are isolated by sickness or sorrow, for those who suffer mental anguish, for the knowledge of your will for our lives. Gracious God, hear the prayers of our hearts in this silence. Holy God, your love is higher than the heavens, and your grace is wider than the sea. Awaken our hearts to the joy of your presence, and open our lips to sing your praise to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught his disciples when praying to say together, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. Mm -hmm.